Hey guys, Modeling Weekly here. This week I'll be fully building and painting the Airfix 172 Hawker Typhoon, a classic kit and a very popular one. This time it'll be all from the box, no photo etch or anything. Let's begin the video. As I expected, the parts are all free from flash or any moulding errors, however the detail is somewhat simplified in some areas, and in my opinion some of the panel lines could be made thinner and shallower to keep in scale. Construction once again began with the cockpit. This didn't take long with only a handful of parts making it up. All plastic parts, excluding clear parts, were fixed with trusty extra thin cement from Tamiya. The cockpit was mostly cockpit green, with a leather brown seat back and black aspects to give some more interest. Detail in the cockpit was brought out using Tamiya pi brown pinwash. This would en end up being pointless though as vision into the cockpit is minimal. The radiator and areas around it were painted with Bayeco Jet Exhaust, a product in their metal colour range. I decided to have the machine gun bays open on this model, so sections of the wing were removed and replaced with appropriate parts. To remove the sections I simply used a sharp fresh bladed hobby knife. <music> to 
Painting, of course, began with an even primer coat, in this case Biacos Light Grey Airbrush Primer. For this and other varnishes, I used a 0.4mm airbrush nozzle to avoid blockages. Following the primer coat, pre-shading was carried out with the trusty black and white Biacos Model Air colours. The underside of this particular aircraft was light grey, and for this I used Biacos 71.046 Pale Light Grey. This time, but camouflage consisted of Bayako 71.104 green and 049 sea grey. Wing walking strips were painted with black to avoid using a decal that may not properly conform to the panel lines. Fighter Command strips on the front of the wings were painted with X6 orange to a point where they appear to be slightly orange and slightly yellow. All the decals were applied with micro set and sole, as was the instrument panel in the cockpit. Weathering was commenced with a Tamiya brown pinwash to bring out the panel lines over the aircraft. Um. 
Additional streaking was then added using oil paints and white spirit, concentrated around areas prone to oil buildup. With all the weathering complete, the entire model was clear coated with a cheap matte varnish, thinned down to produce a satin effect. Any mistakes or problems with the propeller were checked over by the quality control bug prior to fixing it to the fuselage. With the prop attached, the model was complete. This was a nice simple model which was very fun to build and paint, especially with minimal fit issues providing any drawbacks. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again next time. Bye!